you for six full minutes. Yeah, that's short. Let's, let's take the best out of it. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Well, today we get to talk about freelance. And I mean, how much fun did you have directing it? Because it looks like a blast. It was it was a blast. It was because it was fun to shoot because of lots of action, because of lots of location, but also because I had three fantastic actors. Literally, every day was something. And in between takes, they were having a lot of fun too. There's there's fun on camera, <laughs> hopefully, but uh, they're all three of them. They when when we when you cut, they keep on riffing. They keep going like they keep the banter going on. So it was actually very very much fun to shoot. And, and all three of them, we, we knew about Alison because she's a goofball. Juan Pablo was very surprising because I, I worked with him before on very dark characters. Like he was like a terrible villain in, uh, in Peppermint and he's always been doing like narcos and stuff like that. But he's hilarious in that. And his impersonation of a dictator was, to me was like great. And then there's John, who we know as this like beast of the man with like crazy like you know, fighting chops but he is hilarious he is a natural born comedian everything he does he has the right timing he has is he, he has an amazing sense of humor so all three of them together was quite right we had, we had really had fun and one of the things that i liked about the the film and the storyline is how it portrays these characters that better at operating versus to living a daily life which is covered in the film that's a lot of us yeah right we we handle with our jobs and we don't handle with our private lives <laughs> i don't know why well we're all the same <laughs> i think it's the ultimate wisdom is to manage to to invert the tendency and like be happy in life without having to achieve any task <laughs> not only that but also that you, we don't all have to follow that pattern that we believe that we have to get married we have to have kids like we can also just fulfill our career and goals yeah well you know what that, that's a very that's a that's a culture or, or stereotypes that change from one country to another i mean i think yes in north america there's very marriage driven and and also career driven ways to envision your life it's not the case everywhere but um yeah generally speaking yes and it's find the, finding the right balance to make to get happiness is uh it's not easy mm -hmm. there were some fun a lot of fun scenes which one was one of your highlights i don't know there was so much fun with all of them i guess the the shower scene was actually very fun because that, that awkwardness, like all oh, these like supposed to be naked and like ooh, ooh and there's like that that very it's very short, like brief moment. But from the awkwardness comes the fun, from the, the comedic, you know, relief. Uh, so that was a fun one. Um, I guess the the big shootout in the in the palace was actually fun because within that crazy like bullets flying thing, they have their little moments of like. They're out of it. They were almost like as if nothing was happening around it, and it, it was it was a lot of fun. There, there's many little little scenes that, again, combine action and and comedy, because you don't shoot action for comedy the same way you would shoot action for action. So it's a uh, it was a, a fun combination and timing. So which one do you enjoy the most, the action scenes or the comedy scenes? I think I, I've done a lot of action, so I think it was very fresh for me to do comedy. <laughs> I've done so much action. It was being able to combine comedy with the action was actually very, very, very much. Uh, it was very pleasant. There was a lot of chasing in the forest. So what? How? How does? How does the the, the directing part kick in? Because that's you're you're in an unfamiliar area. Where, you know, you can't just like cut a tree because it's in the way. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you you cannot bend nature. You have to go around. <laughs> so. And and you have to play that in a very sometimes unfriendly and uncomfortable environment where it's like raining and then it's sunny and then there's mosquitoes and then there's something else. So it's it's challenging, mm -hmm. but I think that's what is the sort of life. I mean, if it was all in the comfort of the studio, I would, I would be bored. So I, I think it was actually a lot of fun for everybody. It was a different experience. So what was and, the and, and also we, we shot we shot in Colombia and we shot uh, most of it in Bogota, all the urban part were in Bogota, but then we shot all the jungle part like a couple hours away from Bogota. And it's 
it's fantastic though. I mean, it was my first time in Colombia. There's such a variety of, of locations and landscapes and looks. It's it's fantastic. Great. Well, I'm sure Juan Pablo was super stoked to be at his home. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Congratulations. People will be checking it out on the 27th, right around the corner. Thank you. You're welcome.